I talk, you listen. Welcome to my one-man panel of madness. Hey, this is Dr. Gia Hu, and oh my sweet gentle time lords of Gallifrey and all the sweet Jedis of a galaxy far, far away. And I'm saying this this way so I don't exactly say what I said when I saw the trailer for the new Thundercats on Cartoon Network because what the frack. Um, so, you know, there has been this kind of weird... Um, I don't even know how to re refer to it, but this kind of idea of redoing a lot of stuff lately. <laughs> and not only that, but then taking it and changing the structure completely. And not only that, but the whole sort of feel of the show. Now, Thundercats did come out uh, a while back with, uh, and I'm not talking about like a while back as in the 80s when I was a kid and watched the original Thundercats, which I love. It was always Thundercats, Silverhawks for me. That was like the afternoon thing. And, of course, uh, the animated series uh, of Batman, the animated adventures. So I was actually just uh, told by a friend to check out this trailer for the new Thundercats. And I was excited because I did like the other one that they had. I think I bought volumes one and two. Even though the story was a little bit different, a little bit weird, um, I kind of liked it. I didn't get into it as much as I did when I was a kid. And I thought maybe there was something wrong with me. So then I see this new trailer, which literally looks like a Steve Universe, Steven Universe throw up. Okay. And I don't even know how to be nice about this because it, it just doesn't seem like, uh, Thundercats. It's the, the animation just, it's, um, I don't know. And I, I remember that this issue happened a while back with, uh, Teen Titans. Uh, the original Teen Titans show was, uh, the cartoon show was, really cool animation it was just like normal everyday dc animation and then there was that change and it became the teen titans that we now see on cartoon network which admittedly i do like i enjoy it but one of the reasons for that is that every time i stay at a hotel if i go to a convention or if i'm doing i always have the cartoon network playing on uh in the background and because uh, I have a hard time sleeping sometimes in different foreign places. So I have to have like background music or background sound. And it's usually Cartoon Network for me. And so I it, usually by the time I fall to sleep, it's the same. It's King of the Hill and then just hours of uh, Teen Titans. So I don't mind it as much. It's quirky. It's fun. But I do I, I do remember that there was some backlash and some people didn't like it. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Gumball. You know, I like those kind of shows. We're Bear Bears as well. But this one just, I think, is taking it over the edge. You know, it's one thing to kind of try to do something new and kind of, you know, do something revolutionary even. And I thought that's what they were doing with when they rebooted Thundercats. Um, and I can't even remember when it was, but it was a while back. Uh, but now that after seeing this trailer, I actually had to stop. As soon as... Panthera blew up, and the announcer's just saying it with this nonchalant voice, like, oh, well, you know, it's like, what? You know, that was a serious, uh, that was something serious in the original series. Like, I remember when Lionel and everybody, you know, had to leave. It's, it's kind of like the whole Superman story, you know, they, they left their planet, so forth. Um, I mean, it's for the first time that I, I'm looking at something saying, I, I'm not, I have no interest. And, um, you know, I used to work at the Great Movie Ride. So if you didn't know that about Dr. Gio Who, yes, I did used to, uh, I used to work at the Great Movie Ride, which as of 2017 closed its doors to become a new Mickey and Minnie runaway railway ride. And so, um, yeah, we're, a lot of us are still very sore at that. And I have to say that one of the things I didn't like immediately was the animation style of Mickey, Minnie and the characters. It's not, I don't know. There's just something not very classic to them anymore. It's like they're trying to go classic, but modern classic. And uh, I just saw a a picture of the sign they put on the Chinese theater facade, not not on top of it, but like at the entrance, that makes it look like it's the entrance to a Las Vegas casino. 
And that also bothered me because I'm like, this is the, this is a replica of the Chinese. I'm sorry, I'm going to say Grauman's Chinese Theater because that's what it's called. Now it's TCL, blah, 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 whatever. To me, it'll always be Grauman's Chinese Theater. And for them to do that with these little animated characters just looks ridiculous. And so that's why like it, it's been like a double whammy. Yesterday was that, and today seeing the trailer for Thundercats just really did it for me. Um, I, I couldn't even get through the whole thing. Like, I'm going to try to finish the trailer just to see if there's anything that can be redeemed from this. And I'm, I'm usually not that angry about it. Like, even with Doctor Who, there's some things that I'm like, okay, it's fine. You know, it's a twist. It's a plot. But this is almost like a complete re, like, completely redone. I mean, still Teen Titans, you know, yes, they went very child, crazy, Japanese style, um, but it's still at its heart, still has aspects of Teen Titans and, and the villains and so forth. Um, I, I don't know. I just don't think that this was something that I, I want to see. And, and this trend is continuing, continuing, sorry, to develop. Look, I'm, I'm lost for words after seeing that trailer, but, um, so check it out. If you get a chance, just go to YouTube and check out the new trailer for Thundercats and make up your own decision. But, that's not the Thundercats I grew up with. You know, there, there is a thing about change. And, hey, I'm all about change. I'm all about things, you know, uh, reinventing themselves, being rebooted and so forth. But then when you take it and sort of make it into a comedy, um, you know, because, like I said, Teen Titans was still had bits of comedy in it because they're teens. They're bound to flub up and do things that, you know, the Justice League doesn't do. So for them to kind of turn it into the Teen Titans that it is today, okay, all right. Whatever, I can see that. But this is just completely, like, off the wall, redoing it like Steven Universe. And it's just, the animation style doesn't, I mean, their faces, they look like they're high and crazy. And I don't know. Anyways, that is my ramble for today because I was just really blown away and shocked at what uh, what they're doing with Thundercats. Uh, which begs the question, what about Silverhawks? I used to love Silverhawks. Um, as far as I know, I don't think it's been rebooted. But if it has, oh well, maybe I'm wrong. Anyways, we'll talk next time.